right there. Huh? Yes, Radio London, one of the first stations in the country, in fact, possibly the first, to play this one by Strawberry Children. Three to six time slot, and in the 12 to three time slot, well, I can't just express how much fun I've had, and I hope you've had fun with me as well, playing the music and uh, listening to the terribly corny joke. Anyway, it's bye for now. Hope to see you all later. Keep listening to your radios. We'll meet again. This has been the Ed Stewart Show. News next on London, the time 1.30. Juicy Fruit present for the next 30 minutes some of the greatest and biggest record sellers over the past two years. But first, a theme I'm sure you're all familiar with. And for such a spectacular show, we have two very spectacular people. Your old friends, your regular Juicy Fruit DJ, Lee Peters, and our guest DJ, Tommy Mass. We know that the name will live on as long as the stations has been going. And so let's just hear a strange sound one more time. It'll continue dull and cool, although most of the rain has already fallen. Tonight will be cloudy, but mainly dry. Today's high of 18 centigrade, 64 Fahrenheit, will fall to 13 centigrade, 55 Fahrenheit tonight. There'll be fresh, southerly winds. There is an unsettled outlook for tomorrow. This is Radio London on 266 metres. The time is two o'clock. And now, Radio London presents their final hour. You're here. Wonderful Radio London. Yes, thank you, Paul, and a very good afternoon to you all. Ed Stewart here with Myrtle. Hello, Myrtle. Hello, Dale. And Paul, well, we've got fun for the next hour, haven't we? Yes, indeed, and we're not alone with Myrtle because we also have Cliff Richard. Many thanks for all the plugs in the past, and um, thanks for being so nice about our records. Hope and wish you all the very best for the future, staff and DJs and whatever you do. Got the freedom to smoke and do whatever they like. How's it going, Ed? Oh, pretty well, thanks, Paul. Pretty well. Getting, getting all the messages. Everybody's here in the studio and all is happening. Yes. Hello, this is Lulu speaking. I'd just like to say how awful I feel that Big L is going off the air because when I'm in my car every day, I have it blaring like mad and I really will miss it. I don't know about anybody else. And I'd like to wish all the DJs and everybody on London all the best of luck in the world. Hey, Lulu, lovely to have Lulu here on our final hour here on Miguel. Isn't it lovely for us? Oh, smashing on that. Empire! At the risk of repeating myself, hi, this is Mark Roman. A couple of years ago, I had the experience of a lifetime joining Miguel. Now, I've got another experience of a lifetime leaving. But sincerely, I want to say that I had a ball being with all the boys on the boat. Great fun. Hope to see you again real soon. Until then, um, watch out for those greens and browns and blues and yellows. Happiness is T.W. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Great to be back on Radio London. Um, even if it is for this sad occasion. So many memories, so many friends that I've made uh, among the listeners, and so many friends I've made among the crew. 
and the disc jockeys that have worked from time to time from Radio London. And I think my closing thoughts would be how pleased I am that particularly on Radio London so many DJs have emerged and uh, you'll be able to hear them in the future. And I think that they will, through their training at Radio London, uh, emerge in a very short time as big names. I think of names like Tony Blackburn and Kenny Everett, Keith Skews, Ed Stewart, Michael Lennox, and uh, so many others. And I think two of the original team and would be not uh, wise for me to forget Pete Brady, should I say, because I think that in times to come, Pete is going to be uh, a very, very big name because he was, uh, as you know, our original breakfast announcer, the very competent one. Goodbye to you and God bless. OK, thank you very much, T.W. And something T.W. has used many times in the past, usually to cover his knees, yes, is look transparent cookie. Hello there, this is John Walker. I'd just like to say I'm very sorry to hear that Big Al is fighting the dust, but um, I'm sure we're going to work out all right for the DJs and everybody, but I think we're going to miss all of them. And that's just exactly what we appear to be doing right here on the Big Al at the moment in this, our final hour. Jagger here and saying hello to Radio London. We're very sad to see you go. We hope to see you one day again. So you've given us a lot of good time. Thank you very much. Goodbye. I don't know how right you are. Thank you very much, Mick Jagger and the Rolling Stones, and the last time here on Radio London. Hello, this is John Peel, and I've only been with Radio London about five months, but during those five months, I've met some very nice, very kind people, and I've enjoyed myself very much indeed. And in some way, myself and the Perfume Garden will get back to you. Thank you. answer to thousands of letters that we've received from listeners during the last few days, we've produced a special 45 disc featuring some of the great highlights of... Hi, this is Bruce Johnston of the Beach Boys, and uh, I wish the rest of the guys could be here to say farewell to Radio London, and I had a lovely day Friday out in the ship with all the guys, and uh, the rest of the Beach Boys and myself are very sorry that Radio London's going off the air because we feel that uh, because of Radio London, uh, we owe a lot of our success to Radio London's playing of our records and uh, we're very sad to see it go off as a lot of our fellow American artists are and uh, we'd just like to say thank you. My children were raised, you know they suddenly rise, they started so long ago, into time, nothing will be end Listening to the final hour on Radio London with Stu Putt, Paul Kay, and Myrtle. Hello, dear. Hello, Theo. Mm. Well, what are you doing then? Let's keep moving on because we haven't got many minutes to go, Paul. So, what are we coming up now? There's lots of more stars and everything. Oh, yes. Well, let's hear from. Hi, this is Duncan Johnson. Well, times have really changed since way back in 1964 when I was one of the small group that helped to pioneer commercial radio in Britain. And with the demise of Radio London, an era has ended. One that, uh, I hope, will start again anew somewhere, sometime. Hello, this is Cat Stevens. I'd like to say, first of all, how very, very sorry I am to hear that Radio London has gone off the air. Because I think it's really helped a lot of people in the past. It certainly helped me, what with I Love My Dog. And I really am quite sorry to hear what's going on. I love my dog as much as I love for you. Hello, Big L listeners. Kenny Everett here. I'm sure you've heard a lot of the messages from the other DJs saying how totally sorry they are that Big L is coming off the air and what a crime it is. Well, I'm probably Big L's strongest admirer because I was there right from, oh, about a month before it started broadcasting and was there up until about six months ago. So I've seen Big L go through all its various stages and phases and everything. And I know almost everybody that works there today. And there's not very uh, many weeks go by that 
a couple of the people who work there now don't come around for tea and we have long chats about the boat because it's a fantastically interesting topic, it really is. Big L has occupied my every waking moment since I left it. I don't know whether I'm sorry I left I, because, you know, you've got to move around, etc. But there's not a day goes by that I don't drag out the photographs of Big L and look over them and all the memories come flooding back. It's lovely. All the people that work there are really gassy people. They're too much. I've never met a livelier bunch of more dedicated people in my life than the people who work in the office and on the boat too. There's a tremendous spirit. Big L will always be remembered as the fantastic radio station it is today because it's being chopped off at its prime and anything that happens like that usually is remembered for years and years and years. And I think that if people do their bit and keep on remembering Big Al and keep pestering for commercial radio to come back, then the same people who are in it now will take over again and we'll get Big L once again, only this time on land. So it'll be clearer, it'll be better in every way. So let's keep thinking about Big L and all the tremendous people you've heard on the air, like uh, Kenny Everett. And Dave Cash, I'd like to say thanks to Dave Cash too, because the Kenny Cash program was really a gas to do. Also, Alan Keane is with a lovely program director and supplied us with some really superb records. And that's about it, really. It's just been a gas, and I won't forget it. I hope you won't too. <laughs> This is Pete Drummond. I've been with Radio London for 11 and a half months, and I would have liked to have made it a year, but when the Postmaster General says go, well, I suppose one has to go. Truthfully, Radio London has been a unique station where freedom of speech and music has not been denied to the disc jockeys or to the audience. I doubt you'll ever see the like of it again. Thank you anyway for listening to me, and I hope we'll meet again very soon. I love you all. Well, thank you, Dum Dum. Well, Paul, you are the only original member of the original crew left here at Radio London, so that means you've done two and two-thirds years. Now, not only have you been there all that time, but a few weeks before Radio London ever went on the air. Have you any sort of memory? Can you take yourself back those times and tell us something about the old days? Uh, well, yes, I can. Of course, it was uh, nothing like as comfortable as it is now. Things have improved progressively as the uh, station has become more successful and we've got things a bit more right on the boat. There was a time when we didn't know how much water we used, let alone how much um, we were going to need next day, you know. Yes. And uh, that's why I grew the beard, actually, incidentally. It's uh, no water, you see, at one stage, so uh, I gave up shaving. I think the other thing that's difficult to imagine now because Radio London's a household word and we've got lots and lots of listeners, but in those days we weren't at all sure if we had any at all. And in the very early days, we'd only been transmitting for a few weeks, I was driving down from Shepherd's Bush in a car and uh, I had to stop rather hurriedly at the lights and a bicycle came screaming up behind me and uh, nearly went into the boot. And a rather angry gentleman on the bicycle just handled his way around to the driver's side window and said, wonderful radio London. I realized I had a sticker in the back window and I also realized we'd got at least one listener. Great moment for me and uh, one of the discs we were playing in those days was by The Drifter. Paul okay, with the record he remembers from the early days of Radio London. And now everybody. Hello everyone, this is Tony Blackburn here. I, it was only a matter of four weeks ago that I was saying goodbye to you. But I had no idea at the time that Radio London would be going off the air. And when I heard this, it gave me a great shock. I'm sure that Radio London is going to be missed by many millions of people who have grown to love the station, as indeed I have, because when I'm off the station myself, I also listen in, and it's given me immense pleasure as well. I think the station, to me, has given everything, and everything I now have, I owe to Radio London. And it's also been a terrific pleasure working this last year with Radio London, because the people connected with it an absolutely marvellous uh, crowd behind the scenes. And it's been so nice working with people who are really enthusiastic and all with the same aim. In other words, to pioneer commercial radio. I'm very, very sorry indeed that uh, London has to go off the air. And I'd just like to thank all those people who I've been connected with over this last year, from the disc jockeys to my programme director, Alan Keane, and to all the salesmen, in fact, every single person connected with Radio London. I'd like to say a very goodbye to you and also a special goodbye to Big Al. Oh, no. We were very fortunate to hear their first record on Radio London called Groovin'. That was their first big smash in England. That one's going to be another big follow-up. A girl like you, the... London, we'll be hearing our final newscast of the day with our news director, Paul Kay. Wonderful Radio London News around the clock Dateline Monday, August the 14th, Southwest France. There have been more earth tremors and children and old people have been evacuated from the Arete area. 
bulldozers are doing their best to sort out the debris of collapsed buildings. The tremors are reported to have been felt as far away as Bordeaux. The Congo, where a mob in Kishanzi ransacked the Belgian embassy there. Furniture was thrown out into the street and burnt on the pavement. An American who lives next to the embassy was beaten up by the mob. The riot is said to be in protest against the activities of white mercenaries in the Congo. Vietnam and reports of a series of air attacks by American aircraft on targets in North Vietnam that were only 10 miles from the border with China. President Johnson's critics in the States have used these raids to accuse him of warmongering and playing with fire. Uxbridge. Television personality Michael Miles pleaded guilty to charges of drunkenness at Heathrow Airport when he appeared before the bench at Uxbridge. He was fined a total of 16 pounds. Cricket. And the weather has once again beaten both sides in the test match at Trent Bridge. There were large pools of water all over the pitch, and some of them were close to the wicket itself. However, it's not raining there at the moment, and the players took an early lunch. And unfortunately, at this time, we can't say the next news on Radio London will be heard at, so we just go to... to think that that is the last newscast from Radio London, the station that started the first ever offshore news service. I hope it has been a service, and that I will once again be able to say, Paul K reporting. <laughs> It's a sad time indeed, Paul. Anyway, girls, let me remind you for the very last time, and I'm sad that it's the last time because this is such a wonderful offer on the market at the moment, Look Transparent Cooking Film, because you can see right through Look. It's great for wrapping sandwiches and keeping your food fresh in the fridge, and you use Look for roasting as well. It lets you see when the meat's overcooked and you don't take it off for browning. But anyway, look out for Look, because we'll all be looking out for Look as well ourselves in the shops. It's in the blue and orange triangular pack at your grocer, stationer, or hardware shop. Hi, this is Madeline Bell. Um, I want to say it's a real drag that Radio London should be coming off. I'm sure I'm speaking for a lot of other pop singers when I say that this is a real drag. And I'd like to say good luck to all the DJs and all the staff of Radio London. And I hope to hear from you soon. Madeline Bell here on Radio London. Thank you, Madeline, for that message. On Radio London, as the minutes tick away, we're now going to hear from two more Radio London disc jockeys. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very thankful for this last opportunity to say goodbye and best wishes to Radio London's vast audience. I could talk for hours about the gratitude in my heart for the reception I've received in this country and on the Radio London team. As an American with 12 years in broadcasting, I've never experienced such a wonderful, steadfast, loyal audience as I have during the past 14 months in offshore radio. The thing that impresses me the most was that I was accepted before having to prove myself. To the wonderful team of Radio London, professional team of Radio London, to the incredulously loyal audience and to all my friends that have heard me when I was at my best and at my worst, I bid you fun farewell, cheers, take care, and God bless. Hello everyone, this is Chris Denning. You know, it's very nearly 12 months since I left Radio London, Big L if you like, and although it's such a long time ago, I still think back to it as one of the most important parts of my career to date. More important, I think I look back to it as one of the happiest times I spent those six months on Big L, really great. Anyway, this is just a brief goodbye to everyone on the ship, and to wish them all the best of luck, and most important of all, a goodbye to you, the Big L listeners. Cheerio, everyone. Hello, everybody. This is Dave Cash, a voice you probably haven't heard on Radio London for quite a while. I'd like to take this opportunity to say goodbye to the Big L because of the fact without it a lot of things could never have happened for me and for a lot of other people. It gave me a start in Britain as it gave a lot of disc jockeys and a lot of artists and it is the saddest thing that I ever have to say since I've been here is goodbye to a radio station that I believe in and I also talk I'm sure as he will later on about Kenny Everett because of the fact that Big L gave the Kenny Cash program the biggest boost that ever happened and if we do get back on another radio station somewhere sometime the big l gave us our start and we want to thank them for it thank you
when you rent a car from Avis, would you make two promises, please? Promise to fasten your seatbelt for your sake, and promise to pay Avis for Avis' sake. Fair enough, isn't it? Avis is the name. Mayfair 7811 is their number. Remember it. Mayfair 7811. Hello, this is Jonathan King here. A lot of you in Radio London will know that I'm very, very attached indeed to the ship and all the people on it. I've been out there a number of times and I've had many, many happy times with the disc jockeys and the staff. It's very heartrending for me to hear that the station is going off. I'm very delighted to hear that it is going up with such dignity. All the time that it has been on the air, it has given and it has had faith in people. And this is something which is very hard to find in our life and society as it is at the moment. I think Radio London has given so much to the whole of the English nation, and I, for one, am very, very grateful to it. Streets full of people, all alone. Roads full of houses, never. Jonathan, it was almost two years to the day when that became a great big hit all over the country. Jonathan King's lovely song, Everyone's Gone to the Moon. Bruised by Dallas. Don't ruin your hair with messy grease. You're a natural. Or make it dry and dull with water. Keep your hair clean Use Vitalis, the hairdressing that's clear, clean and natural. Use Vitalis, you're a natural. Keep your hair in place all day. Vitalis Secret. It's the only hairdressing with invisible V7. Keep your hair a face all day. Do your hair a favor. Greetings to uh, Mrs. Keith Skews and saying, rather sadly, for the second time around, goodbye. It was only some three weeks ago that I said cheerio before I went off on holiday. And now, having returned today and... Uh, duly been suntanned on both my left and right kneecap, I find that the Marine Offences Bill is about to become law. The Marine Offences Bill which forbids British subjects to serve on offshore radio stations. 15th of August 1967 is indeed a very black, a sad day in offshore history. During the past three years, the pace and interest in radio has more than trebled and the sales of radios have quadrupled. Offshore has been directly responsible. Offshore radio, that is. Over the past three years, a large number of pop stars have been born and a number of new record companies launched. Moreover, the listeners, you at home, have been well satisfied with the sounds emanating from your radio sets. Well, I briefly would just like to express my sincere thanks to Philip Birch, our managing director, and also to Alan Keane, the program director. Alan, incidentally, who doesn't want his name mentioned and to all the Radio London staff at 17 Curzon Street, as indeed to the captain and crew of the MV Galaxy, the disc jockeys and the engineers. And we mustn't forget the cook as well on board. All have helped to make 1966 and 1967 very happy years in the life of one Richard Keith Skews. And I'd like to thank you at home, the listeners to Radio London, most sincerely for being absolutely wonderful and for allowing me to lurk locally inside your radio sets. Well, Keith Skew signing off now, wishing you everything you wish yourselves. Have you ever been? Oh. Have you ever been? Well, needless to say, you're okay with wonderful Radio London. You're listening to the final minutes in the life of Radio London and to the voices of DJs past and present. Hi, good people. This is TV on Radio Tommy Vance. Although I've only been associated with Radio London for something like two weeks, I feel as sad as everybody else that is coming off the air. It's been a part of an era that has proved something in broadcasting, especially in this, the United Kingdom. I've had a wonderful time, and I know you have by virtue of seeing all your letters that have come into Radio London. I only hope in the future something else is going to come along that's going to be just as good and just as wonderful. But I also hope you will never really ever forget Radio London. So for the final time, this is TV on Radio, Tommy Vance saying specifically to all of you good, loyal Radio London listeners out there, goodbye. Thank you very much, Tommy. And indeed, many of the people who will be sad to lose Radio London are the people who have been able to sell their products over our station. 
We talk about the advertisers. We've had advertisers who've had serious commercials, funny commercials, and catchy musical jingles. And our last commercial on Radio London is one of those catchy musical jingles, Consulate Cigarettes. Get the new idea in smoking. Come in on the move to Menthol Fresh Consulate. Consulate combines menthol freshness with rich Virginia tobacco and a firm white filter. Menthol Fresh. Cool, fresh consulate. Cool as a mountain stream by Rothmans of Pall Mall. Hi there, this is Dusty Springfield on Radio London. And I suppose it's sort of sad, really, saying a goodbye to all the people who listen to Radio London. That's millions and millions, I'm sure. And I hope it won't be too long before we're all again listening to Big L. I want to thank everybody there for being so kind to me and playing my records. And my mum said this morning, actually, I was talking to Sid, she doesn't quite know what she's going to do. She says she'd go potty without Radio London. So best wishes to everybody. And let's hope that we'll all be listening again pretty soon. Bye-bye and thanks. Dusty, you don't have to say you love me. Well, what more can I say? It's time for me to say goodbye. When I think back to about two and a half years ago when I arrived back in England from Hong Kong, a penniless bass player and a hick jock, and then Radio London gave me the chance to come into your homes, which has been the most wonderful thing in the last two years. It's given me the chance to meet Myrtle, get a name of Stewpot. In fact, it's given me a complete life for two whole years as I've been out here on the ship, and I wouldn't have missed it for the world. And now I want to say hi to somebody who's uh, become such a huge name on Radio London, right around the country, Tom Jones. Jones, I'll never fall in love again. And Tom, since you had your first hit with us here on Radio London, it's not unusual. And right up till I'll never fall in love again, you've been wonderful. <laughs> This is Ringo, and I'm just saying cheerio to all you Radio London listeners, because, as you know, we're going off the air. It's a bit of a pity, and the radio will never be the same, but it's one of those things. Cheerio. has been made of the fact that mine was the first voice to be heard on Radio London. It will also be the last in regrettably few minutes from now. But before that, please allow me to introduce the managing director of Radio London, Mr. Philip Birch. It was just three years ago this month that the idea for Radio London was born. Four months after that time, Radio London was on the air. And four months after that, national opinion polls showed that it had millions of listeners now it's to end. During the past three years, I feel that Radio London has done very little harm, but an awful lot of good. During those three years, it's helped organizations such as the Institute for the Blind, Oxfam, the Cancer Fund, the Lifeboat Service, to raise funds for their very worthwhile causes. It saved the life of an airman who bailed out of the, uh, over the North Sea and was picked up by Radio London's tender. In closing, Radio London would like to give very special thanks to Lord Denham, who fought our case in the House of Lords, and to Lord Aaron for all of his help. To the Shadow Postmaster General, Paul Bryan, to Ian Gilmore and the other MPs, who stood up in the House of Commons and fought our case. I would like to give my personal thanks to all of the staff at 17 Curzon Street, to all of the DJs, to Captain Bunninger and his crew, to the 1,027 advertisers who have supported Radio London in the last three years and used Radio London to help sell their products. But most of all, I'd like to thank you one of the 12 million listeners in the UK and the 4 million listeners in Holland, France, Belgium, Germany and the other countries on the continent for all of the support that you have given Radio London during the last three years. 
if during that time Radio London has brought a little warmth, a little friendliness, a little happiness in your life, then it's all worthwhile. As one listener put it, the world will get by without Big L, but I'm not sure that it will be a better place. Thank you. Girl time is three o'clock and Radio London is now closing down. Listeners have just joined Radio Caroline South on 259 meters in the medium wave band. They've joined us because a sister of offshore commercial radio has just gone off the air. Radio London on 266. This is Robbie Dale, and I've just been listening to the last few minutes of Radio London's transmission. I've just heard her close down, and this is the time when Caroline would like to say thank you to Radio London and all the staff and DJs for the service that they have given you over the past year and two, two and a half years. We are now alone, but we will survive and we hope and trust that we can give you, the listener, the same service that Radio London have been giving you for the last two and a half years. And we welcome you to Caroline South and give our sincere thanks to all the staff on Radio London and wish them all the best in the future. And as a small token of appreciation for their service in the past, we would like to have just a one minute silence and then we'll come back with sounds and take up the fight for free radio
This is Caroline South on 259 meters in the medium wave band. The continuing sound of free radio. Now the one and only and your future in commercial radio. Broadcasting on 259 meters in the medium wave band with 50,000 watts, this is Radio Caroline International. Offices based in Amsterdam, in Paris, in Canada, and in New York. Radio Caroline now continues to give you what we have been giving you for the past three and a half years. Freedom of choice and your right for free radio. After a very uh, moving situation there, at three o'clock, the loss of our sister Caroline there, uh, Lost of our sister London, Caroline's sister. It's great to be on the air. Let's have music. of new records pour into the Radio London studios. In our never-ending quest to serve you only the best music, we now take our microphones into the announcer's lounge, where they are currently picking the Radio London Club Disc of the Week and their own particular climbers. All are unanimously agreed, this is the Radio London Club Disc of the Week. Pleasure to present the voice of Vicky Carr. There I go. Oh, wow, I don't know if she knows it, but Vicky Carr does terrible things to me. That's the Radio London Club disc of this week, a knockout record for There I Go. Meanwhile, we've just got three and a quarter minutes to ten o'clock, and I'll have a look at the weather for you at ten, okay? Oh, Sam Vinegar. So, Sam Vinegar. That's the taste for quick time crisps. The taste to make you smack your lips. <laughs> yeah, a little old place called Big L. Latest weather on wonderful Radio London. The day. All the DJs say this one's on its way. It's the cream of the crop. It's the thing of the pop. Here's tomorrow's top. Isn't today? Yes, indeed. And Frankie Vaughan sings the Big L farewell dedication to Edward Shaw. Big Al Ballot Box recorded on the Mercury label. Remember that title? It's 
Three for Rhea from Kenny Dyson. Question for you. What about QT, quick tanning lotion? Do you get a quick tan with QT? Good afternoon. <laughs> Twenty-three minutes past three o'clock is the time on the Empire with yours truly, Mark Roman. At three thirty, the news with uh, Dum Dum. This weekend, where the action is. On this week in the Fab 40, Grace Vincent Kirk, Royal Academy Arts. From John Young, on the Polydor label, it's a Tony Hall Enterprise record. To get us up to news time, what better than my favorite record? From Jimmy Lopez, gonna get along without you now. Now on the Mark Roman Empire is Hot Fast 3. Wonderful Radio London. News around the clock. Beach Boys, Heroes and Villains, brand new entry into the big old charts. In fact, straight into the boss song number one. Well done, Beach Boys. But actually, it's a joint number one with the tremolos, even the bad times are good, a record which we'll be playing a little later on. Thank you, Dum Dum, for the news. Welcome back to the Empire with yours truly, Mark the Roman. That's a new one, an all beautifully phased, which Kenny ever digs like crazy. Since the climber and the Marshall Magnetic Slimer this week is called Forever. Thank you very much, Mr. Mary. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Time now by my Joissa watch is exactly 3.59. Joissa, the famous Swiss-made 17-jewel anti-magnetic wafer-thin golden watch. Elegantly styled with a leather strap and sweet second hand. You can be on time with Joissa. Just under 75 shilling post order or check to Peter Walker Mail Order Company, 143 Lay Street, Elford in Essex. Every Joissa watch carries a six-month guarantee, and if you're not entirely satisfied, your money will be refunded. I'll repeat that address for you slowly. Send 75 shillings to Peter Walker Mail Order Company, 143 Way Street, Elford, Essex. Be on time with Joissa. Manfred Mann, it's called So Long, Dad. Recorded, of course, on the Fontana label. Now, it's its transmitter to... Mark Roman coming along at 3 o'clock this Sunday afternoon. He's a real dog dog getter. Right, Audrey Porter at 18 Aubrey Avenue, Wembley. Hi to you, Audrey. A great supporter of Tom Jones and everything, and I'm sure you're going to enjoy him right now. I'll never fall in love again. says Tom Jones. Great Tom, lovely. Terrific voice, isn't he? Yes. That's Tom Jones on Radio London. 20 minutes before 3 o'clock is the time. Radio London will cease transmission at 3 o'clock this Monday afternoon. Don't miss the voices of disc jockeys past and present in a big L feature program starting at 2 under the title, This Was Their Final Hour. Right, so there's just 23 hours and 19 minutes to go. That's all of Radio London, so I hope you'll all be listening tomorrow. And uh, if you'd like to, a chance to say hi to uh, all of us here, who will be big old DJs, let's face it, till 12 midnight on Tuesday, uh, on Monday, that's it, tomorrow, then uh, we'll be hoping to catch the 5.25 from Ipswich, getting into Liverpool Street around 10 to 7 tomorrow night. Will you be there? Goody! Right! Hey, you looking for an exciting new taste in soft or picking that as well, because uh, we both agreed, TW and myself, that was a very good record, and Frank Sinatra, our climber for this week. Sixteen minutes before three is the time, and if you're looking for a new and exciting career which offers immediate high salary prospects requiring no previous experience or qualifications, then if you're under 35, Stafford House Computer Courses will, in only 20 weeks part-time, 
20 weeks at Old Arden yes, qualify you as a computer programmer. Graduates are given assistance in finding employment in the computer industry, where a drastic shortage of programmers has caused salaries in this field to soar, and well over £2,000 a year is within every programmer's reach. So if you're ambitious, you'll call Fremantle 3746 for details. Remember that number, Fremantle 3746. <laughs> All right, it's back to Revive 45s, which never made it, but which are nice to hear again, aren't they? I don't know, what are we going to do when it's all over at three o'clock tomorrow? Well, hello, hello, Petalus to tell us. I do.